Hello Internet 51 Napa here. Hello Everypony Apollo here. Um a while ago I got this guy right here. Uh these two I've ha uh this was the most the oldest recent one and then this one here I've had for a while. But I want to bring in a new one that I got here. This is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s nationwide car back in the day, I think it was 2008. Uh, I know Martin Truex Jr. drove this. I know um, Kyle Busch drove this. Not this paint scheme, but that number in the Busch series. Um, there's been a couple of drivers, too, I've never even heard of. I know, I think Max Pappas even drove this once. And then Adrian Fernandez from Formula One drove this when this car was in Mexico with a completely different style. Up here is, uh, it's supposed to be the car of tomorrow, uh, but the spoiler broke off a long time ago, and then, as you can tell, the splitter also fell apart. Uh, but that, but this car, even though you can also tell, uh, when I had this back in 2008, I was still a little immature. I silver, I used silver sharpie the wheels here, I added some black, t uh, markings. To it to make it look a little bit cooler, but uh, for the most part, it's about the same. That um, window net is a whole piece of plastic. But this is the Bush series car that it um, was based on. That basically was it was based on. Uh, the wheels look a lot better. You have that little trim in there. The window net is essentially that a window net, and also the roof flaps uh, deploy. So it's got a little bit in common with this one right here uh, more will be on the way and I'll show them off and yes that opens and so does the hood there we go. nope come on ah. it's kind of hard doing it on camera but yeah the hood does open you just have to get your finger in the right spot. come on it's like a ripoff toy trying to open it up there we go so yeah that hood opens up tail opens up so it's a lot like these two right here these hoods open up albeit like I said with this one this one doesn't like to stay open see but that opens that opens and again it's a little hard opening there we go so that opens this one opens but not the tail there we go yeah, the tail doesn't open on that one, but it does on that one. But as you can see, this one doesn't like to stay open either sometimes. Bring this guy over. Only the hood will open if I can get my... There we go. But it suffers a little bit like the 29 does over there. Hey, how about that? If I close that, I know that, that it opens, but look. Hood, tail, hood, tail, hood, hood, tail, hood. So, like, if I actually, if I did this, like, move the 15 over here, and then do that, then it makes a little more sense. There we go. Hood, hood, tail, hood, tail, hood. And the fact that the hoods are open and the tails are open made it look like they uh, the these ones here got wrecked. And now this is, like, flying up in their face. But anyway, just wanted to show that off. This is the new guy. This is the second new guy, third. I had these two here for a while. Um, I bought these back in like 2008, 2009, and only, these three have only recently shown up, and there's one more I want to show off. Keep the camera on those guys. There it is. It's basically this one here, but if you remember that, uh, live stream I did of unboxing this guy, you'll notice that, um, where that pull award is supposed to be is this right here the bud pole award i think it's kind of dumb that this is for 21 years and older whereas this one it's a normal car i got this up in lake tahoe actually and i added a little bit of silver to it to make it look a little bit better um but yeah this was michael waltrip's old car i mean it's got best western on it that's pretty cool but yeah i thought i'd show that off real quick just show you off all the bigger cars I have. I have smaller ones, I've done that before. Um, but yeah, I'm, re I'm really happy about um, 
the growing collection I have of these. It's it's a lot of fun. And also, this one, if I turn it over, I can't open anything. So, this one's kind of like a, a display model, if you will. I like it. It's cool. But uh, I like it when they're more intricate. And also, if I do this, there's nothing behind that wheel. If I take this guy, it's a little hard to see, but I believe there is a brake. Yep. There's a brake uh, behind there. It's a little hard to see, but there are brakes uh, behind that wheel. Uh, with all of these, actually. All of these have... I, I Let me check this one here. I don't think... No, this one doesn't have any brake either. No. So these two... These two here, despite this one being more... In, having more stuff, these two don't have brakes... This one does. What I mean by that is if I look underneath, if you look where that wheel is, you can see the brake right there, that silver piece inside, but that's pretty cool. Anywho, um, yeah, this is a continuously growing collection of mine. It's a little hobby. Um, if I could get some help, though, of making stop motion videos, what I'm going to do is with these, I'm going to have my friends be selected to different uh, race cars like I'll be the number five um, future real productions I'm going to make him the number 29 uh, a hat bears will be the 19 Texas train fan will be the number 15 and uh, what I'll do is I'll upload another video regarding these guys once I have uh, more of them and if any any of my YouTube friends uh, want to get involved with like stop motion races, um, be warned um, because NASCAR can be a little bit of a game of luck. Um, you may or may not win, but if you want to be involved with the stop motion races that I'm gonna do again, let me know because I need a little help doing the stop motion stuff. But anyway. This is Apollo 51 Napa. See you in the next video.